The following video will involve me reading from notes. This video is not endorsed by Niantic Labs, Game Freak, The Pokemon Company, and Nintendo. Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. Yesterday, on November 16th, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were released for the Nintendo Switch, and now there is an event in Pokemon Go tied into this release. Now Pokemon from Kanto that aren't found in one version or another can be caught in the game. There is also now a new mythical quest, which I will do a multiple part video about after I finish my current Pokemon Go video. The quest in question is about Meltan. There are two ways of getting this new mythical Pokemon. The first is by transferring a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee. And you will get the mystery box, which can be opened once a week. When opening the box, you will only have 30 minutes to catch as many Meltan as you can. And when you have 400 candies, you can evolve it into a Mel Metal. The other method is the newly released quest called Let's Go Meltan, which requires nine sets of three tasks to complete. Once caught, either way, in order to transfer Meltan or Mel Metal to the Let's Go games, you will need to have reached Fuchsia City and have your account linked to either game and then transfer the Pokemon to the Go Park, which takes the place of the Savari Zone from the original games. The tasks can range from easy to hard. They involve things from making certain throws, catching certain Pokemon, evolving, etc. Also during this event, you can also get new items for your in-game avatar, like a Pikachu or an Eevee hat. Earlier, after this quest was released, there were text glitches within the game, but they were later fixed in the day. Also in other Pokemon news, the Pokeball Plus accessory, which I talked about in yesterday's video when catching you, it can only be used once per Pokeball Plus. I don't have the Pokeball Plus at the moment. I will review this in the future. In the meantime, my pal DX1 does do a full death review of this accessory on his channel. I will have a link to his video about this accessory. One more thing. I will also have my second episode of my Autism Talk series up today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!